Hello and welcome to One More Pen. Today I'm talking about this one. This is apparently a Jin Hao 25. I don't know anything about this pen except that I saw it online and it was really really cheap. I think I paid around three dollars US for it and it reminded me a lot of another pen that I have that looks very similar. I don't know if this pen was inspired by another pen if it's a journal probably it was or if it's a copy of another pen um, I don't know all the pens out there so this one I don't know or maybe maybe this is an original journal creation I don't know but if you have an idea if you know something about the journal 25 let me know I'd love to know you know what inspired this pen but it does look a lot like another pen that I have and I'll tell you that in a moment when we take a closer look um, and we'll just briefly compare them. I'll just show you why I think maybe, maybe the spin um, inspired this one. Uh, maybe it's the other way around. Who knows? I, I really don't know. But anyway, we'll take a closer look at this. I have not used it yet. It's been in my drawer for, I guess, two months waiting for this moment uh, to be inked up for the first time. I've been thinking about what I should ink it up with and I actually took out um, diamond sepia but now I'm not so sure because this pen has an extra fine oh where's the focus extra fine nib and usually um, on an extra fine nib I prefer to use a darker ink so I'm actually not sure if the sepia will perform well whether it will be a good choice um, I'll think about it in the next minute or two that I have that I need to set up the desk um, but we'll ink it up with something we'll definitely do a writing sample and we'll take a closer look at this I'll uh, show you the other pen that I have in mind and um, yes if you know something about the Genau 25 please let me know if you know where this pen comes from what inspired it all right without further ado let's uh, take a closer look I just hope I'll be able to do a writing sample because Cosmo has taken up my desk here <laughs> and I don't think I don't think he's going anywhere so ooh, we'll just have to keep that tail away from the nib but uh, I guess we'll just have to share the space today I think that'll be okay uh, we've got a lovely day by the way we've got some light rain it's really beautiful we're really heading into summer it's not hot yet we have around I guess 23 24 degrees Celsius um, daily which is pretty nice and today we've got a light rain so it's overcast it's really beautiful weather lovely day for a writing sample and um, doing some pen videos so let's hope Cosmo cooperates and um, let's get into it all right let's take a closer look at this pen does it remind you of another pen that you may know uh, it reminds me of this one the Pilot Kukuno and if you just look at them I think you can see why there are some rather obvious similarities I think the pins look quite similar I mean there are some some differences right um, we have this sort of indented part on the cap on the Kakuna which we don't have on the Jinhao but apart from that these pens look rather similar and I really like the Kakuna and so I like this one as well I think the Jinhao fixes the one major flaw on the Kakuna for me and that is that it doesn't have a clip if the Kakuna had a clip I think I would have used this pen all the time and carried it with me everywhere because it's really a brilliant pen but okay, this is not about the Kakuno, so let me put the Kakuno aside for now. This is the Jinhao. It's black plastic, and immediately you can tell, you know, it's rather cheap plastic, but it, it doesn't matter because I guess this would be a kind of a knock around pen that you can just throw in your bag and, you know, or take it wherever, and it doesn't matter if it scratches up a bit because it's going to scratch up, that's for sure. On, on the cap, we have Jinhao which I think is pretty good because not all Jinhao pens are branded and 
I prefer that they are branded. I think if you if you're proud of a product that you make, then you put your name on it. And why not? Some Janelle pens are really good. They're not all great, but um, they're good. And for the price, I think uh, many of them are really good value for money. The clip is really springy. Uh, forgive the background noise if you hear that. It's uh, There's a car going by and it's piqued Cosmo's interest. So, But we'll carry on. <laughs> so I, I like this clip. It's, it's really functional and it's got a kind of a sort of an industrial look to it which I think is it's pretty nice this is not an expensive pen and Janelle doesn't try to make it look expensive which for me immediately um, you know adds to the appeal of the pen if it's a cheaper pen it can look cheaper that's fine it's it's not a problem at all well let's just finial at the top there's really nothing there and at the bottom now at the bottom very similar to the kakuno mm -hmm. right so it's a snap cap and it snaps on pretty pretty good no problem there we uncap the pin and we have a clear section which i really like this is pretty cool so you can see what's going on in there the nib is unremarkable it's got no branding on there it just says ef for extra fine the barrel unscrews from the section and i have to say it's threaded really well there's no scraping or anything bad going on there so i really like that and as always um Jenna gives us a converter something that i still think every other pen brand should do if i'm buying an expensive pen then why can i not get a converter if i can get a converter with a cheap pen so this is really cool i uh, might have to move cosmo but anyway we'll maybe we'll just have to live with a tail so converter pretty cool <laughs> i don't think this is gonna work uh, give me a second and let me see what arrangement I can negotiate with him. Okay, so there won't really be much negotiation with Cosmo. Um, he's made that clear, but I I managed to wedge something in here to keep his tail uh, under control. Okay, what am I going to ink this up with? I was thinking about Diamond Sepia, right? Uh, because I bought this ink, I, um, I've only used it once on a Sailor Young 1911 that I bought and I had a horrible experience, probably not the, the fault of the ink, probably the pen. I had to send it back and they, uh, because the nib was scratchy as can be. So I haven't used this ink again, but on an extra fine, I am not sure that this is going to be a good ink. So I was thinking of going with Sargasso C, which is a really, really lovely blue. But you know what? I'm thinking maybe let's just do the diamond sepia. Let's just give it a go. Let's see what happens. Man, I've got hair everywhere. So let's ink this pen up and see what it can do. The converter, by the way, it does pull out and it fits very snugly into the section, so I don't foresee any problems there. Right, we have diamond sepia, never used before. Now, I'm not sure if this pen is going to dip. Yeah, it is going to dip into the bottle. And I'm only going to do one twist because i don't want to fill it all the way in case it's not the best ink so fold it about halfway we can put the ink aside forgive me a second while i grab something to clean this off because of course there's ink spillage right and there we go 
here everywhere. So now we've got the spin inked up and it will be interesting to do a writing sample and see what it can do. So for the writing sample I'll be using my Rodeo dot pad, really good paper and um, I try to be consistent with the writing samples so let's give this a go. This is the Jean Hao. 25 as far as I can tell with an extra fine nib. A little bit of an awkward writing angle but I, I'm trying not to get my hand into the focus. Weakness. It looks pretty decent. I, I actually feel, uh, I think it feels a little bit on the dry side but we will see as we go. In terms of line variation I don't think you can expect too much from a standard steel nib like this no not much line a little bit it co coax a little bit of extra ink out of there it's not bad for the first time using the spin it does feel quite dry I must say but we will have to see what happens with time not bad though, not bad. Let's do a little more writing. Am I in focus? Let's. Right, so not the best handwriting today, but anyway. The sepia is really a beautiful color. Um, I do think that perhaps the ink will do better in a broader map. This is an extra fine. Um, I would generally not use this kind of ink in um, anything finer than a medium usually and I think it will do really well in a stub nib for example but for an extra fine this is actually not bad it's on the dry side but that means it will probably do well uh, on cheaper paper as well um, all in all not bad I, I was expecting it to uh, even perhaps skip or um, you know just be too dry to write but it's actually pretty good given that I inked my um, uh, sailor with this um, when I got it and my sailor has a bold nip and it just wouldn't write it was just really really bad so this is actually quite impressive um, all in all I think this pen for three dollars US I think this is not bad at all um, obviously when I do more writing with pen and with this ink I'll see what it can really do but the first impression is pretty good I must say the ink looks good the extra fine, um, I mean it started a little slow I guess, but it's not bad at all. Um, for extra fine there is substantial feedback but definitely not, not scratchy at all. It's rather smooth. Is that on, on the, yes. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. No scratchiness. And it's the first time I'm using this pen, so I think the more that I write with it, probably the better it will do. I, it's al almost as if I feel that wetness has improved. Uh, perhaps, I think perhaps the feed needed to be saturated a little bit more, I don't know. But in any case, 
I think that this is actually a pretty nice pen. If you're looking for a cheap knockaround pen that doesn't look bad at all and probably can do a decent job, I think this is this is really good value for money. So I would recommend this. I'm going to be using this pen quite a bit. Um, it feels like a Kukuno without uh, you're not having a clip, so I can actually carry this one around with me, whereas the Kukuno I can't. And so this fixes a problem for me. Um, yes. Well, thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. I always appreciate the support. I will let you know how things go with the spin and I will see you next time.